Hello, my name is Marion. I'm also known as Miss Mustard Seed, and today I'm going to teach you how to apply furniture wax, and then if you want to use one of the more decorative waxes, like antiquing wax or the white wax, on top of a furniture piece, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now this piece was very chippy. It still is, as you can see. It was misbehaving uh, for me. There was something in the wood that was very oily. While that's not typical, normally you can add the bonding agent, you can sand, there's quite a lot of things you can do to control that. This one sort of had a mind of its own, and that does happen every once in a while with milk paint. So I'm going to apply the wax, but I want to be pretty gentle around the areas that may still be chipping because I don't want to have it continue to flake off. So I did sand it. I did vacuum it, so I loosened a lot of those chipping pieces so that it won't continue to chip once I put the finish on. So I'm going to apply furniture wax, and I'm using our wax brush to apply it. Now you do not have to have a wax brush, but this does make it easier to apply wax to especially the little details of a piece. If you're working on a flat tabletop, you don't need it. But if you're working on a piece with a lot of detail, a brush is a great idea. You can use any sort of bushy brush. Natural bristle brushes are definitely the best. Um, you can buy these from our retailers and the edges are sort of tapered so it makes it easy to get into all of the little nooks and crannies of a piece. Now a common mistake when using wax is to glob a whole bunch of wax onto a brush. I've had people tell me before, oh, I used the whole can of wax on one dresser. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, back off of the wax. You just need a little teeny bit. So I've loaded my brush, um, just the tips of it, because that's kind of what touched the wax here. Um, just the tips with wax, and that's all you need to get started. It's better to have a little bit less and put more on then apply way too much, and that's when your finish feels sticky and greasy to the touch. It shouldn't feel like that. So I'm going to brush on the wax, and when I'm brushing it on, it's a lot different than a paint. You're not trying to apply this thick coat. You're trying to work it into the paint, more like a lotion. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more here and work it into the paint finish. That's one thing, uh, that's one reason why I like wax finishes so much. It's because it absorbs into the paint, making it very durable. Whereas a polyurethane top coat, for example, just sits on top of the paint. So I'm sort of massaging it in. And as I'm applying it, I'm basically buffing it with the brush. So I'm doing two steps in one. Now for little nooks and crannies like this mane, I'm going to glob it in maybe a little bit heavier and then really work it around. As you can see, a few little flakes are still coming off. So, and that's okay, that might happen sometimes, but I'm being sort of gentle. I can see there's a little piece that's kind of loose there, so I'm just gonna be a little gentle with that. And I'm getting it into the grooves, but I don't want the wax to build up inside of the grooves. Okay, so you get the idea. I'll apply the wax in that manner to the entire horse. And then I'll come back with a cloth and rub off any excess. And this sort of buffs the piece as well. And as you can see, I did it right afterwards. Normally I would wait maybe about five minutes but no longer than that. You don't have to leave it for an hour or anything. And even now, it feels dry and smooth to the touch. If it feels wet or sticky or heavy, you've applied too much wax. So what do you do if you've applied too much wax? You just take your brush and keep working it around. Try to pull off some of that excess wax and work it into other areas. But 
I didn't put too much on in this case, so, so it feels pretty good. Now, since I want, this was a new rocking horse and I want it to look old, obviously, which is why it's all chippy and stuff. I want it to look like it's been around for a really long time. And what happens to pieces that have been around a long time is they get this natural patina to the paint. So we're going to mimic that by using some antiquing wax. Now, this antiquing wax is different from others that are on the market because it was made for this purpose. It's not something that we're using um, that was made to be a stain and wax in one. So it's very highly pigmented and it can run away from you very quickly. Um, this is meant to be used as sort of a glaze or as a, uh, a way to antique pieces. So I'm going to work the antiquing wax into especially the grooves of the piece because that tends to be where that, uh, like if, if a piece is going to get darker, that tends to be where like the dirt and the grunge and stuff is gonna settle. And I'm also gonna work it just over the piece to give it a little bit of, a, of an antique look. It sort of softens the brightness of the paint. And probably on video, it's not very, you don't pick up on it. But that's the whole idea. You don't want people to look at a piece and say, oh, there's a piece that has antique wax all over it. You want people to look at it as, wow, there's just something really um, authentic looking about that piece. Is that the original paint on it? You wanna keep people guessing. You don't want it to look like you just took a waxing class and now all of your pieces have dark wax all over them. You can sort of see the difference here. This horse is painted in grain sack over trophy, and then the runners are in shutter gray. So I wanted that sort of Scandinavian sort of horse look. And the reason why I applied the antiquing wax over the furniture wax is it gives um, a little bit of separation between the paint and the pigment of the wax. So it doesn't, the pigment of the wax doesn't discolor the paint too much. If you want a stronger look, you don't need to do the furniture wax ahead of time, but I like to do that. And then you buff it out one more time. Now, you're go going to notice this with the antiquing wax. Some of the pigment is going to wear off on the cloth that you're using to buff. And that's okay, that's totally normal. If you're using a very dark color like Artissimo or Tricycle, you're going to see some of that navy blue or the red on the cloth as well when you're buffing. And that's okay, as the paint cures, that's going to stop, but the color may wear off for anywhere from about two to four weeks, you can expect that. So just be gentle with it. If it's a chair, you might not want people to sit on it for a little while so they don't get it on their clothing. But obviously for a horse, not many people are gonna come in contact with this. And that's it. Once you've waxed the piece, it's ready to use right away. Like I said, there is a cure time of maybe about two to four weeks um, that you just wanna be gentle with it, especially if it's a dresser or something that you're going in and out of a lot. But after that 30 day period, the wax should be nice and hard and will be a very durable finish for your piece. Thank you.